Hey guys, David here again. In this video, the point I'm going to make is that motivation has nothing to do with success. Motivation has nothing to do with whether or not you're productive. Everyone's out there chasing motivation. How do I get motivated? Well, I'm going to let you in on a secret. You're already motivated. Motivation is abundant. And how do I know this? Well, let me ask you right now. Your goal, that goal you're thinking about that's been with you for so long, the one that you really want to achieve. Well, let me ask you flat out. Do you want to achieve that goal? And I bet you're saying, yes, absolutely. You're motivated. Isn't that true? Your motivation is there. Everybody is motivated. So motivation is not the issue. So stop trying to find motivation. What is the real issue? Okay, you might say to yourself, well, that's not really what I mean. I just feel bad. I feel like I can't move towards it. Now, that does not mean you're lacking motivation. Consciously, you know that you want to have success in your goal. The motivation is fine. The problem comes with our thinking. Okay. How are you thinking about this goal? Now, if you think you have to go out there and find this, this mysterious thing called motivation, that's going to be a problem because you're chasing the wrong thing. What is the truth of it? In terms of a healthy way for you to go about achieving your goals successfully, feeling good about yourself. Well, really, the feeling good about yourself thing is the most important part of this. So it's not motivation we're looking for. We're actually looking for self-trust. That is the whole key. Forget motivation. Forget motivation. You need to find self-trust. Do you trust yourself? So if I, if I ask you the question, do you trust yourself? So many people would say, well, yeah, I trust myself. I trust myself. Well, let me ask you this then. If you tell yourself you're going to do something, how sure are you you're going to do it? Now, if you say anything less than 100%, it means you need to work on your self-trust. Forget motivation. I need to trust myself. It should be 100%. If I say I'm going to do something consciously and I decide that that's the thing I need to do, then we need to work towards that thing. But we need to be sure in ourselves that we're going to do it. So the problem we fall into is that we make a million promises, or even worse than that actually, is we make a promise and we break it, and then immediately we make another promise. Okay, That's a recipe for destroying your self-trust. I promise you this, guys. This is the issue I had for many, many years in my own life. And when you solve this problem, when you realize I'm not after motivation, I've already, I already am motivated. There's nothing wrong with my motivation. It's I just need to develop self-trust. When you get that sorted, everything falls into place. You don't need to chase this mysterious, mythical thing that everyone's looking for called motivation. Motivation has nothing to do with it. You'll find when you develop self-trust that you're productive even when you feel great and when you don't feel so great. Because you realize there's something more important than that in, at stake. It's just a thing called self-respect, self-trust. That's what you're doing this for. So the problem we get into, of course, is making so many promises. So many big promises. Unachievable promises. Promises we know when we're making them, we know we'll never keep. Okay? Maybe that sounds familiar if you're watching this. So we need to move away from that. Tiny, tiny promises until you develop unbelievable, foundational, core self-trust and self-respect. The thing I always say is, you know, if you make a promise to meet a friend at the coffee shop at 3 p.m. and you're not there, you don't show up, you know, how does your friend, what does your friend think of that? Well, they're probably going to be disappointed. They might say, okay, well, look, it just happened the once. So they might reschedule with you for the next day. But if it happened again and again and again, sooner rather than later, your friend's going to be thinking, there's no respect here. They don't really like me. They don't care about me that much. 
But that's what we're doing to ourselves all the time with these continual broken promises. This is what self-respect and self, self-regard self looks like, self-trust. Can I trust myself to do the things for myself that I know I can, sh- I can keep, I can, I can follow up on, follow through on? Not motivation. Motiv- now, motivation, you'll notice uh, the more you start to work on this self-trust thing, which I'm imploring you to do in this video, your motivation kind of goes up. You get a, you do get more kind of optimism. You get more hopeful. You get more, um, yeah, optimistic. Optimism comes back. A lot of positive expectation builds because you begin to realize, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm like a lot more um, impressive maybe than I thought I was. I'm like really, really cool person. You know, I can do a lot. I'm very effective. That's what you'll start to believe and see in yourself. So if you're watching this, I'm just asking you to consider dropping motivation as your goal. Forget about it. Has it worked so far? Forget all these motivational videos that are out there on YouTube. What are they trying to do? In fact, most of the time they just make you feel bad because you don't have this thing called motivation. So work on self-trust. Take, make one only make small achievable promises to yourself and really start to get conscious about how am I doing with these? Am I treating myself with the respect I would hopefully give to a friend? That's how you do it. If you do that, I promise you, your confidence will go through the roof. It really will. And you'll begin to realize, wow, the future for me is really, really bright. It's positive. I can do what I want to do. You already know what you want. Your motivation is there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you want to watch more of these videos, you can obviously subscribe and like this video. And uh, I'm so grateful for you for watching. I hope this video is helpful. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.